Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP and today I'm going to show you how I make my chicken fried turkey and gravy. If that's an oxymoron, what is? Look, this is a really cool dish, a little bit southern inspired, let's get on with it. Here I've got some um, turkey chunks that I've just bought from my supermarket. Um, they're like a tenderloin or maybe a bit of breast. I'm just going to uh, put those down, give those a little bit of a belt out with my meat mallet like that now this one i went a little bit too hard and if you're a new viewer to the uh, channel yes i do have ms and uh, i sometimes get things wrong with why my hands work and i went a little bit too hard on this one don't worry we'll uh, we'll make that work right, i'm gonna put that aside fresh bit of paper down and i'm going to get out another couple of our chicken chunks now you just buy these uh or sorry our turkey chunks we just buy these from the supermarket and they're not that expensive it's a very lean meat and works perfect for this style of recipe a little bit of paper back on top just like that and give them another little bit of a bashing now i'm taking things a little bit easier this time i'm not going to uh, annihilate them i just want them to go around about that sort of quarter inch thick type thickness a little bit more on that last one he's a little bit chunky but don't worry we're just going to get those all in the rice nice same sort of size all right i'm gonna make up my gravy a uh, bit of butter into a pan i'm gonna use my baby wok here because uh yeah it's clean i'm not gonna use it i'm gonna melt that butter down just like that and that's about 20 grams worth of butter give that a nice meltdown uh, just keep an eye on your heat we don't want to burn the butter we want to make a really nice gravy now heaps of black pepper i'm going to leave the amount of black pepper up to you it's probably around about half a teaspoon and the same again of white pepper absolutely magic flavors for when it comes to a gravy in goes a bit of flour you can use plain self-raising it really doesn't matter put that in i'm going to cook that flour off now we've just basically made a roux really nice and easy so we're just going to uh cook that down a little bit and as you can see the uh the flavors and the colors of the uh pepper has worked in and i'm going to add in some chicken stock and i'm going to add enough just so it all emulsifies firstly in the pan as it starts to come up the heat and i'm going to cook this around about 80 to 90 percent of the way through i'm going to leave it a little bit underdone give it a dash of cream probably two tablespoons maybe a little bit more i'll leave that up to you how creamy you want your gravy now i'm just going to start reducing that down keep stirring all the time and that way we won't get any lumps now we're always going to end up with lumps in a gravy and i'll show you a little trick how to get rid of that now here we've got our little turkey pieces i've given that a nice dose of some ground white pepper and a good liberal amount of salt turkey can really handle a good amount of salt i'm just going to put that straight into some breadcrumb just straight breadcrumb nothing else just put that in like that into our beaten egg and uh, you beat as many eggs as you need for the amount of meat that you're going to be crumbing and coating all right we uh, started off with four for this recipe we're actually doing two recipes in this tonight but i'll show you that one a little bit later on we're going to add our know, breadcrumb straight over the top pat that down on top of that beaten egg just like that make sure we get any little spots that we have missed right and there we go there is our first piece of chicken fried turkey all right do the same again with all the rest of the pieces that you have make sure you season before you end up putting them into the breadcrumbs and give them a good seasoning if you want to use a, a black pepper you can you can use herbs if you want to but i'm just going nice and simple for this particular dish i want the gravy to be the hero so just crumb those through just like that in the meantime i've got some oil heating up over on the side all right like that and uh, i've already cooked my first part of this recipe here goes our chicken fried turkey that goes in see that nice little foamage and bubblage around our pieces of turkey that is exactly what we want that is the perfect perfect temperature to be cooking at i can't give you an actual temperature it's all by feel those little bubbles is exactly what we want i'm going to cook those off for about three minutes or so all right they don't take very long to cook turkey uh turkey bits and especially when we've uh, cut them or bashed them down nice and thin as we have and we want that just nice little golden color on top when we give them a turn turn those cook those for about another two minutes or so and we can take those off and put those aside like that all right so there's our first batch we're going to keep going with the rest of them 
just going to keep cooking those off a couple of minutes at a time keep that color exactly the same it's exactly what we want now you can make up uh, whatever side dish you want with these I've got a little bit of uh, pre-bought coleslaw left over from a couple of nights ago I'm going to serve up with a bit of that that's going to be absolutely perfect for this dish so just keep putting your uh, bits of chicken in keep turning them around now don't forget we still have to finish our gravy right don't worry we've got a little bit of time I'm just going to put these uh, down on a tray with some uh, baking paper and keep them nice and warm. Now, I've got out the whisk just in case I end up with any lumps or a skin formed over the top of my little gravy. And I'm just going to whisk that down and uh, slowly thicken that up. That flour is going to work. It's going to end up thickening that nice little homemade gravy up quite nicely. Now, I don't want a really thick gravy. I don't want it to be ultra thin either. So I'm just going to go a nice halfway served up my little bit of slaw down goes our chicken fried turkey and all i have to simply do now is ladle over a bit of our gravy just like that i'd love to see you try and make this one at home absolutely beautiful and tasty thank you so much for watching this video really do appreciate it and if you like this video hit that like button gives me confidence should make you feel warm and fuzzy to share this video with all your friends on all platforms and social media we're trying to get the name of kp's kingdom out there Hit that notification bell to be notified every time a new video goes up. Hey, leave a comment. I love reading and I love responding to them. In the meantime, if you want to learn how to make a sort of southern inspired type dish just like this one, well, you need to come and join the family. My family. Hit the subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. I'm off to eat my uh, chicken fried turkey and gravy and I will catch you next time. Bye.